Hello everyone. Let's uh, pop back into game here. Come on, OBS. There we go. From hey team. Uh, so I was having some fun. Uh, just doing a little bit of light play. And uh, I realized something, which is that uh, I forgot to look at all the ships I got from uh, Foundation Festival, which is awesome. I got a Gladius. Uh, I got an arrow back. Um, Got an Anvil Valkyrie is pretty fun. Got a Caterpillar. How great is that? Cuddy Black and Cuddy Red. Right. Freelancer, Prospector, Razor, Starfarer, and 600 Ituric. That's a pretty... I think I already had the Aurora. Uh, that's a pretty beefy 12 ships that I think I get for like a month. Now the only one I have on hand is the Harbinger. Please visit um, us again. One of the things I was wanting to do, though... Ooh, sunrise. Or sunset, I'm not sure which. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was uh, try to go get some rare loot. Ah, sipping coffee. Alright. Um, and so, what I wanted to do was run around and do retrieval op missions. Alright, so these... Uh, I think I can just do... I think L4. Is that the really far away one? L3. I think L4. That's not bad. I can do that. Um, because there's good stuff that spawns out there, it gives me a chance to do a little light combat. That sort of thing. I already did a couple of these the other night. Didn't find any rare gear. Did find some stuff, though. Combat beat. Not been very successful with that. Legal monitors, boarding action, you know, all those good things. There's this retrieve a lot. That's at Ghost Hollow. I don't really go there. Uh, how are we doing on... Server performance isn't looking the best. Yeah, let's take these two retrieval ops. This is the triple box. This is the single box. Alright, I'm going to do this one first. Um, and then let's just get cold on it. Hold on. Where are you? <coughs> call arms, hello. Hello, call arms. There it is. All right. Let's look at where this one is. Um, he's in uh, court, uh, Crusader. It might be a little easier. Oh, this one is right, right here near uh, New Babbage. Just probably where we're coming back to turn it in, right? This is the one that's going, yeah, back to Microtech. All three of these are going out to L4. Okay, so we will do the, the one boxer first. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see, I'm loaded up. Uh, I just kept my Crusader security gear on, heavy armor, machine gun, and a rail gun to knock out the ships that kind of come after me. Yep. Let's, uh, let's get the ship on the pad. Get that going. And then I may or may not show up. Welcome on to the ASOC <coughs> vehicle retrieval system. All the uh whatever ships. Free vehicle free fly selected. ships. I'll, I'll maybe Stand try that. Has been delivered to the following Please location. visit us again. Not a working elevator. Finger two. Uh, well, hopefully this is sunrise. Yeah, it looks like sunrise. Good, so we're not going to be in the dark for this box. out that's not too bad all right here i'll show you what i found been loading up the vehicle here um so the main thing oh yeah i forgot i have all this uh stacks 
I already got a hundred Dolivine and a hundred Ephorite in my, in my next stacks. But yeah, I've got these like Unification War medals. Mostly worn and damaged. 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 But I do have one pristine large artifact. Flawed one. Um, let's look. For whatever reason, dragging things into your hands appears to be completely broken. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and I've been grabbing the cool, unique multi-tool to my ghosts. Quicksilver, Harvester, Bloodline, Black Cherry, Ghost, Black Cherry, Cherry. So we've got a bunch of cool-looking multi-tools. Um, but what I really want are some of the... Usually it's like helmets. Um, I, wanted that, I want the Citadel chest. And that... I don't even know if that can drop. But I, if I can get the Citadel chest... Um... <clears throat> that would be pretty awesome. That's what we're going to do here. So I'll, uh, we can enjoy a nice morning flight through the beautiful atmosphere here. <clears throat> and um, then uh, I'll probably cut out some of the travel time to the other ones. Because, uh, some of these outposts on Microtech can be very remote. And if we don't like doing it on Microtech, I might go do it with um, some of the other other locations. Yeah. Right. Off. Ah, gorgeous. Down a little bit. Get some altitude. I kind of want to fly through the clouds a little bit. I don't think I want to go over there too much. see where this other ship is. So there's characters down there getting loaded up. Break the ship from Oh, it looks so good right now. And I'm only getting 23 FPS. That's probably not, not the greatest, but that's okay. That's okay. Lock ourselves in just a little bit above zero. Gain some altitude here. And... Ew. <clears throat> yeah, they still need to do some work on these clouds. I might have them at medium. Let's uh, let's crank them up. still see the stripiness. That's supposed to be like god rays, I think, hitting these. It's funny, I don't think that actually improved the visuals at all. It didn't really change my FPS much, though, so I might just leave it on. And the big, the big FPS hit is the city itself. Just a lot of geometry there that's probably not optimized. Oh man, it's really cool. Screenshot time. Could be my next, uh, Thumbnail. Yeah, that's supposed to be like the shadows from the clouds closer to the sun being cast on the, sh on the clouds farther away. But uh, it's coming across as kind of straight. Boy, it still looks good. Flaws or not, it still looks good. PL hangout on Saturday. I'm going to be on a plane until 10 p.m. Uh, actually, I think it's like 10.30 p.m. is when I'm supposed to land. Uh, probably not home until well after 11 o'clock at night. Uh, in which case, maybe I'll join, but probably not. One of the difficulties I'll have is we've rearranged the apartment so that uh, I am beaming from my living room. So the baby has a room for herself now. It's like a thing. 
Oh, we're like 15 kilometers out now. Let's, uh, let's dive. And, uh, that's going to make it hard to, uh, you know, play late and be loud. I don't know what to do about it. Like, literally, the door to her room is right next to where my desk is. So if I, uh, too loud, I would be waking up all night. Uh, which would not be great, because then it would be a screaming baby in the background of my videos. Or, more accurately, I would probably not be playing, but instead, getting a baby to be quiet. So I'm not exactly sure how uh, how my recordings and hangouts are gonna go, um, and it may be that I just don't uh, don't do them for a while. Maybe I buy like a sound dampening blanket or some white noise machine and try to drown out my lab. Uh, I could also maybe get a uh, the microphone mounted on my headphones so that I don't have to be quite as loud. Shit. There's probably going to be a cutlass coming in, that's why I have the rail right now. So I'm just going to park somewhat close. Uh, just because I don't want people running through the snow all day. Alright, there's actually the cutlass. Interesting. That's the landing pad. Okay. Let's kind of see. I'm going to go actually back here to fly over. shields to max. That way if this thing flies in and I'll oh, kill it far away enough I don't uh, get my ship blowed up. <laughs> A little extra resistance on the shields would be useful. There you go. Anybody else coming out here? Or is that just a large enough... It's not on the radar here. I don't know. We'll see. That blue light was coming out here to also do a retrieval op. No idea if these missions are shared. A lot of dead ships out here, though. So you can even see it's part of the microtech. It's the new cabbage, sort of like sensor outlines. Hopefully there's no guys here, like, clipping into the truck. I don't really see people at all. You want to be able to do some looting. This box. Hey, there you go. Flawed artifact fragment. Damaged war metal. Food and drink. I not. See any enemy? This feels pretty deserted. Oh, frame rates with all this stuff kicking out. Items bouncing around. I'm making the computer sad. <clears throat> How about in here? Hey, some dolvine. Right, so it's inside that building. I kind of don't want to go in there. Until the reinforcement cutlass shows up, though, and the reason for that, I don't think, because if I'm inside, I won't be able to shoot it when it shows up. Box. Really don't like the bad frame rates. Why are we doing this? 12 FPS nonsense. Purely. These guys. These things. All these chip parts out here are kind of kind of hurting the performance. A little, a little upsetting. Maybe we will not spend our time. Well, you know what I can do? Put these volumetric clouds back to medium. See if that helps. Maybe. I don't know. 
My GPU is basically pinned at 100%. Which, you know, is great because you're using all the resources, but also uh, kind of having a hard time. Right. Aphrodite, Quicksilver. I want a couple more tractor beam attachments just because shooting so many of these things. Uh, that actually seemed to improve a lot. That's right, so flying through the clouds didn't, didn't really change performance, but landed maybe back like almost 10 FPS. Alright. There was another, another wreck out here, another spot. That's not... Hear it? Do you hear it? Probably shouldn't be missing this much. The sink, I think. Come on, give me my ammo. Oh, I just busted in the hall. That's cool. Three. Four. Five. You know, I'm kind of standing underneath this. Maybe I should back up a little. It's, it doesn't fall on me. ammo than I planned to spend. Wow, I just look like a snowman. But that's why you bring the railgun. I have to get more ammo at some point. Okay, so there's another little piece over here. I'm trying to find all the loot. It is a looting game. For better or for worse. Ooh, Mirage. That's like the golden color. Really, what I want are those little brown boxes. Those are the ones that can have real stuff. There you go, see there. Sometimes they apparently have actual station metal, about the rest of it. Pieces vibrating. I don't really think I can beat the bigger pieces though. Not until they make the huge tractor beams. Body. Somebody's here. Well, someone's been here recently. Get inside. Come on. There we go. Any lootables in here? I don't even know if those are worth money. It's kind of cool. Rare loot. I'll show you what they look like later. I'll probably forget. Yep. Alright, let's get this back to New Babbage. You can still have the New Babbage soundtrack out. Oh, there's a gray box I missed. Maybe one, two. Not the most essential thing. 
Nice having a collection of gems. Good. Bucks. You never know when you need to drink. Say it like that. Jackson, hell's wrong. Racist against the Irish, maybe. Um. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically what I want to do all day. We've got twelve random ships. Too bad. It's gonna ignore those entirely, and uh, we're looking for cool helmets. What I really want is some cool light armor helmets to wear with my links. Slow walk it back to the ship. Say so, hey there. All right, load everything up. Move it all. Let's keep making a stack. We're not that full yet. Four hundred and a hundred. Yeah, sorry. Four and UEE, two and EE unification damaged. You should back as well. Wait. No? For a reason there's just two of those? Okay. So we have 184 of these and 144 of those. I forget which one's worth more. I think the gold mine. Right, blue's worth more than green. Pink's worth more than blue. So you can see uh, on the mountains to the left right there, there's like that antenna. And on the right, there's this antenna. And then you, not those mountains, but if you go around the hill, there, there's like another, another like antenna station. So there's these cool like uh, outposty areas outside of New Babbage that I've always liked. And yeah, here you can see the uh, tops of some, some of the closer skyscrapers just fitting in over here. It's good to enjoy the gorgeous scenery. The planet tech is pretty great. I mean, obviously you have some like low distance stuff and some refinement, but I think like, overall the environments are top notch. And the fact that the environments create pressures to uh, form a certain way, right? That you can't just be out in the cold, you have to be prepared to be out in the cold. It's cool. I've really been enjoying this ship. I think I might uh, look for some paint jobs for these uh, uh, Vanguard ships. Let's see what's see what's out there. Obviously, I would like something with some orange to it. Uh, the default paint on this is okay. You know, military green and a bit of yellow highlighting is, is a lot of ships have that center. Have to look. But uh, yeah, I think it'd be fun to have something a little brighter, a little flashier. I like the blue that's on the. I think it's the Sentinel has a really like, nice blue and gold paint. Antenna stations. It's cool that they give everybody a caterpillar. I mean, that's a great trade ship. This tall one right in front. That's the little one next to it. That's pretty 
ourselves down to a slightly slower speed. Some manual control. Dense urban environments. It doesn't look like it has a platform. In that building? That's definitely this building. Oh, it's it is behind this building. There it is. That's the platform. I can't wait for us to have like apartments and stuff in these cities. Engines also can't wait to rebuild my computer. <laughs> get get just even good frame rates, right? Like like minimal minimally acceptable frame rates right i don't want to see red i want to see uh yellow green obviously but yellow you know if i can get above 30 fps at all times that's all i need getting one of those amd chips with the 3d cache sounds like the uh perfect way to get a lot of performance out of star citizen probably a lot of other games but definitely star citizen sub-optimized Make four thousand. Thank you. Thousand. Three Four thousand. Great. Please. Come on, open up. Yeah, server FPS is not good today. Which is weird because it's the middle of the morning on a Monday. Maybe it's just atrophy. No time to clean up. Alright, let's get our next set of packages going. Interesting. Um, okay, well that might be bugged. I'm going to abandon that. That uh, clearly is not not operating properly. It's gonna double up the packages. Not working. This retrieval op around. Salvage stuff. Yeah, I'm not opposed to going out with the uh, vulture. Let's get in here. So much stuff out there. All right, check again. Launch complete. Landing gear retracted. EA Uniform. So they need to open up the rest of these cityscapes into activities and habitation. Even if they're kind of generic. Not like generic, generic but like even if um, they're just kind of the same, like, oh, and here's a shop, and here's a store, and here's a bar or a restaurant, and, you know, just make it feel lived in. Before I started recording, I did get uh, have some problems with the NPCs blocking 
pathway to to the uh, train station and had to wait for the AI to kick in and get them. Retrieve a lot. Let's do the triple package one. Mick L2. This. Oh, it's behind me. Great. Alright, so. Another package that's right here. We'll get that one first, then we'll get these two. Hopefully, it's not the exact same look, which I think was. You are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Hard to get. And this one, this one, those are both pretty close to New Babbage. Let's get the farthest away one first. All right, so you are 1,700 or 2,000, so let's do that. I'll just kill the drive when I'm close enough, I guess. that whole way. This is why I think doing it on uh, Crusader is a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, Shubin Mining 13 probably closest. Actually, all that much closer though. Oh, see that starting to build up? I'll kill it. See when we get there. No need for you to watch all of this. There we are. About 5,000 meters out. Pretty remote. Not a lot out here. Pretty densely forested out here. external camera. Mostly I just want to figure out where the, uh, the, <laughs> the enemy cutlass is going to show up. Uh, are these rocks? Is that what I'm looking at here? Trees? Where the low distance stuff kicks in and you're like, what are we doing? You know what? It's going to come right here off of this little bank. Him down. There we go. Perfect. Engines online. 
It's only 100 meters now, it's not too bad. Back to my so there's a bit here. Do a laser pointer? No. Flashlight, nothing. Light on. Might be okay, this embankment is just enough. Dang it. This looks like a small camera to the left and then the main one is to the right. Let's do an external view here. Blowing my personal drone, right? That's what we're doing. Okay, so there's one there, one there, there. I don't see anybody patrolling around at the moment. Let's close in and check. Good thing the fire is animating. There's a couple guys. Oh, spawns. Weird. Very weird. Also a little dangerous if they're going to keep popping up. any other flashlights around. Be over there. It's definitely harder to do at night. Looks like maybe there's a flashlight over here. Alright, that looks like somebody's flashlight. Standing right here, maybe. Yes. Yeah, some of those shots seem to pass through him. That is odd to me. over there. Good. I don't see any loot boxes out here. Though. Up there, maybe? Somebody's just been out here recently, too. Look around this side here. Don't want any surprises. Nobody up top. What's down here? Anybody? I'll check it anyway. Hey, there's a loot box. There's one over there, too. Great. 
sometimes when the game is developed this slowly, sometimes you just have to make your own fun. That might mean finding all the colorful <laughs> multi-tools. ladders now. Wait. Because there's not more weapons and armor stashes here. It could be more because of where we are than anything else. Right, like maybe we need to go to a different uh, system. Listen for the telltale sign of either that cutlass coming in or the weapons fire so that stuff. So slow walking with these things, though. Fresh food. Body die. Can you do more than 100? What? Didn't know that. Great, let's stack all of this then. I need to stop at 100. There's no limit. Let's uh, go to work, folks. You already landed? Alright, well this is going to be easy.
Get him. Did you hear him fly in? I didn't hear him fly in. We just suddenly landed and shoot him. For the audio, is, uh, sounds good in most cases, but it's wonky. Didn't quite fit. Fun. Anyway. Next box. So we will complete this mission before we do anything else. I'm gonna uh, maybe not change region, region, but maybe log off for ten minutes. Circle back and log back in. That's work. Safely four million kilometers away at Nick L2. Alright, both of these other spots are, one's real close to New Babbage and one's like a hundred kilometers off there. Just go to New Babbage. Ooh, it'll be daytime now. I think the one that's real close must be the one that we wore, it's like 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers away. It's a lot of fun to watch this game though, it is really pretty. And I know these don't make a lot of money, and that the, the loot I'm getting isn't, you know, all that good. But... Alright. So, package number one, 60 kilometers. Package number two, 400 kilometers. So that's uh, maybe a little further away. What we'll do is probably just go to one of these and then just cut the cut the uh, drive again. That should line me up pretty darn close to it. Quantum, where you sometimes are in quantum noises still. Alright, not bad. I get some cool re entry effects here. But I'm maxing out and I got 60. I don't know why I keep talking about my FPS. I'm obsessed with my frames. Ooh, here we go. It's great. At least this way we can fly right back to New Babbage. Go back to that same location. Alright, I told you I wouldn't make you watch this. <laughs> Get back. We're gonna look at this because it's by the river. 
Huh? How cool is this? Look at that. Oh, okay, don't look at it yet. Wait for it to... Wait for it to load in. Come down by the slate. Fly over there. Set. And when I land, and hopefully it's not too long, I'll dust over it. Nope, it's just a dust storm. Alright, well, we're going out in a dust storm. <clears throat> certainly ruins the beauty of it all, huh? <laughs> yeah, but... Oh my god, you know what's going on? Hold on. Let's crouch and stay out of sight here. Something... Have I seemed quiet? Quieter than usual? Yeah. Freaking WebEx always auto-adjusting my mic. I swear I've disabled its ability to control my, uh, my mic volume, but it does it anyway. It's probably just a toggle without an actual, you know, change of anything. Mirage. Dolabine. Aphorite. Alright, let's see if we can get a peek inside up this hill. Come on, ladders. They're hard because the server FPS is low, that's why. keep guns equipped either. Too bad, I guess. No NPCs spotted so far. Let's get up high again. Double check. Yeah, look at that packet loss. It's 3%, 4%. It spikes up and down. That's part of what's going on here, I think. Well then. Are they going to move is the question. Everybody? Go around the corner here. Double check them. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, where's my actual containers in there? Okay. I'm gonna grab one of these guys' med pens. Hold on. Okay. 
quick loot check. That was almost very bad. Combination of low server FPS and not reloading my gun preemptively. Oh yeah, black cherry. You're the best black cherry. I don't actually know if that's true. Um, <clears throat> while I'm at it. Ammo. Ammo. loot anywhere. Here's my box. There's one. I'm going to find some of those brown boxes to loot though. Maybe there's one in there. Or up there. We shall see. Oh, my artifact fragments or potentially other gear. Wind is going to make it hard to hear a ship approach. <laughs> We're getting plenty of minerals, which is better than nothing. I think we're done. Enjoy the beautiful scenery, lake in the distance, mountains, snow-capped mountains, even further out than that. This is what this uh, game is going to eventually do very well. You can go to all of it, and maybe there's stuff there that's interesting and fun. Or maybe it's empty. But with persistence over time, interesting places will fill up with random junk. That may be good junk. these rocks. Let's bring this in a little closer. And my ship is still attempting to quantum travel. Hostile contact I can blow up. That'll be fun. Nowhere, huh? These ships are all dead. There's gotta be one coming from somewhere. Wait, I'm sorry, 150. What is that? Is that a package? Dead body. Looks like he's in his skinny suit, though. Looks like he's gone. 
Interesting. All right, let's get into the atmosphere of the cloud layer. You know how it goes. Get ourselves back to New Babbage, where we'll go to the final location, which I think is the one you saw before, but maybe it'll be cool. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the same place. Uh, we're, I think the other place is on the other side of New Babbage out that way. You can see the, the towers just on the tip of the peaks there. Right, and we definitely didn't come in across the uh, starport or anything. So this is actually, this is a different location. So it's right here on the other side of this gray peak. And it's just to the, uh, like, one o'clock of my ship. And it's right there. Very interesting. Uh, I, I mean, maybe I've been to this before, right when they first came out. I don't remember. It's just a nice, nice change of pace for the gameplay. Real tired of bunkers. As much as they're good money makers and good loot finders, I'm real tired of bunkers. Yeah, we are up in the mountains here. Some Aurora out here. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? it on this peak? Like on this hill outside? guess so. I know, it's in the valley. The other ship. Aurora. Aurora. So somebody must have come out here and died. Would be my guess. Oops. Man, it is. We are quite covered here. Snowy mess, whiteout conditions. Oh, uh, it is going to be hard to see. i uh, kind of excited about this, actually. I, if the AI itself can't prove challenging, Maybe the conditions can be challenging enough to make it fun. Yeah, like, who am I going to snipe it like that, right? Oh my god, and the AI can see you through this, right? The other hilarious thing about this. Alright, so we got to close the distance, get close enough to where I can see. Get over here. I already see a guy. Thankfully, I'm silenced. Is he dead? I don't think so. Oh yeah, he's dead, okay. Bound to be others. Yep, there you go. Okay, come around the outside. Looking for any of those silhouettes. Nothing. Come around the left. corner here. Oh god, there's whole other post to the left. I don't know how much looting I'll be doing out here. And how can I see anything there? It's all in the sun. Alright, I mean, anybody's over there where the package is, by the way. <laughs> Somebody's 300. Also, just cold enough that uh, might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm out here too much longer. 
so let's uh, maybe just get this box and get moving. Check for AIs. Check for AI. Such hostile weather. I'm even in heavy armor. Check for AI. Anybody over there? Yeah, there's three. I'm gonna see if I can. Where's the last one? Thought it was three, maybe it was just two. Where was he? Where was he? Run! Where the fuck is this guy? sees me, but I don't see him. It is my worst nightmare. Freezing to death slowly. I cannot find the enemy. Never mind. I also can't sprint because of uh, the wind. Alright, let's get the box and run. Who? Where? Where the fuck is this guy? Alright. We just need to go. Alright, we're gonna go this way. I don't know where that last guy is. I'm not sure I will find him in this weather. See, now this, this is quality. This is some quality freaking gameplay. This, uh, you use the environment to give your <laughs> your cruddy AI some kind of advantage. <clears throat> you try to get away. Oh, look, there's a dead player. Uh, so the idea that not only can I not see well, but also because of the harsh weather, which makes sense, right? Like you're out in the mountains. So because of the harsh weather... I can't sprint in most directions, right? I'm in the snow, I'm freezing to death, I can't see, I can't run. All right, all those advantages the player has are negated. Pretty good, pretty good. Maybe a little cheese, right? They just said this was their only toolkit. I think I hear a ship. Alright, well, I'm inside. I'm wounded. Let's get the ship in the air. But we are okay. Maybe I'm just hearing the other ship that's around. I can't, I can't see anything. I'm just gonna nose down and reverse thrust up. The storm is just, just impossible.
Uh, if I wasn't risking a crime stat, I'd probably just hurl some missiles or torpedoes at that uh, location. Alright. Well done, Star Citizen. Well played. Deeply immersive. Challenging in interesting ways. Maybe not the most legit ways, right? Like, there are probably ways that it could be challenging. They're like, actually, you know, you're making the AI better. Making the gameplay elements a little, a little more functioning together. But, I think in general, pretty good. And yeah, you're there. I mean, it's like right underneath me, right? Like right there. So you're there in a storm, in the clouds. I mean, that's cool. Very cool. Where's the city? That way? That way? There it is. Okay, so it's right over there. So you're not very far from the city. You can almost drive out there if you wanted. So there's the drop-off, so we got to get to one of the orbital markers. And get over to L 4 I do think I'll swap servers, though. I, I need it to be noticing some jumpiness, some issues. Sorry, Mick L2, not L4. L4 was what it would have been before if it hadn't glitched out on that previous package. And now we get all the quote unquote fun of uh, walking the boxes in one by one from the hangar. Well, I'll manage. I'll probably pull my armor off and just run around in my uh, undersuit. It'll be a little faster that way. Uh, and too bad I didn't, you know, I couldn't loot that place, but it's too cold, too dangerous. Right? You wanna, you'd wanna show up there in a Novikov suit, you'd wanna probably have some buddies around. First, I thought I might run it in from the external pads, but I think I do want to land because I also want to go to the hospital. Get myself healed. Got a thirst building up. Hunger. Got some drugs in my alcohol system. Let's uh, get ourselves right side up over here. I think that's correct. Thank you. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Is this on the outside or inside? This looks like it's an inside. Come on. Let's line ourselves up, please. Ship debris. Fun. Always love it when there's parts of ships hanging out outside of hangar doors. Let's uh sure center this sucker. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Alright. Well, the ship isn't damaged, so that's nice.
Alright, so let's um just kind of move all this into the vehicle inventory. Do a little management here while I'm at it. I don't know if I'm gonna sell these or if I want to keep doing these missions and just see how much I get. Um, all right, what else can stack? You can also come there. Data pad. I don't even know why I have that on here. All right. Good. Good. Let's see. So the metal is probably the slowest. So let's take that one first. Serious question, leave them on the ship or leave them on up next to the elevator? I'm thinking leave them on the ship. I also have a tier three chest injury from that last little jaunt. That was that was tough. That's the gameplay I'm here for though. Well I wanted to do Microtech and not Hurston. Hurston, you can get dust storms, but you're never you're never freezing to death in whiteout conditions, you know? hangar was that? Does it say? It does not. Drop off. Okay, so it's, it's down here. I think. No? Maybe? Is it in the Galleria? It's going to be in the Galleria. Right? That's gotta be Galleria. Yeah. I don't even remember what this station has available. I think it was here briefly during... I think it's been the beta? I don't usually do the beta test of the... or pre-alpha patch or whatever it was. The 318. Yeah. Drop off. First package. Okay. Just for grins. Yeah, 30k of Dolivine, 20k of Aperite. Neat. Nice to have a little extra 50k. Alright, ship guns, people guns. What kind of people guns we got? I'm going to pick up some more railgun ammo. Ooh, I got the boneyard. See if they have a laser pointer or anything too. Give me six of those. Um, suppressor, grenades, I don't care about. What about laser pointers, huh? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go back and get the rest of it. No suit vendor up here, right? Get downstairs, maybe? Sometimes these uh, less frequented stations have really cool stuff. Food vendor. Clothing. It's back here. Super cool hangout space. Yeah. Wasted space. Pizza you can't buy. Okay. Good to know. Probably shouldn't be running with this chest one day. Alright. Back to hangers and habs. Back 
back to the ship, wherever it might be. We can look on the Aesop and it'll tell us. It's, uh, you know, a little, a little bit tedious. Just saying. Let's look. Welcome to the Aesop Vehicle Retrieval System. Hangar 1. Whoa, not great. Die in the elevator. It's got a freaking atmosphereless dead zone. That would be peak star citizen. to close this, but I'm just paranoid. Number two done. Go get number three. I have a bit of a problem. I can't pick this up. How am I going to finish the mission if I can't pick up the final box? Well, heading moves too. This is why I wanted to change servers, but I was in the middle of the mission. I couldn't. Why? Why, Quaid? Why are we stuck like this? Pick it up. Right, now I have no inventory either, so it's not like I can grab my... Uh, my weapon here, my uh, tractor beam, multi-tool thingy buffer. Um, get fucked, I guess. This is one of the reasons these delivery missions are terrible. I love the locations. I love going out and having to fight outdoors. I love the weather and the reinforcement cutlass, even though it's kind of derpy. Right? All that stuff is amazing to me. A ton of fun. Then you try to turn in the packages and stuff like this happens, where you can't pick them up. Where the game is, is clearly just unable to process some major thing that's happening. Welcome. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. All right, so let's store the ship. Please visit us again. Drop off package, okay. but pickup package is gone. That did not fix my inventory issue, so I'm gonna have to wait it out. While I'm doing that, I guess I'll go to the hospital. Seems like uh, the best use of my time. Where's the hospital? Am I losing my mind? Over there? It's down there. Next to this beautiful room of pipes. Hello. Check me into a room, please. Five. Lucky number five. Five. It's one. Five. At the end here. Let's treat my chest wound. Getting healed up. And we're good. Ish. Uh, 
that fix our inventory delay? No, it did not. So our inventories are broken. Our bandwidth isn't gone, so the server hasn't crashed. The wrong way. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Your Stand vehicle by. has been delivered to the following locations. Please visit us again. All right, package is there. Let's hope. Okay. Wait for the message. I have joined the Vanguard Harbinger. Grab. Yay! Star Citizen, everybody. It's all about the workarounds. Also, I can make 9,000 credits for 10,000 credits. Or this is worth some worthless amount of nothing. Go ahead and store the ship again as well. I'm going to log out here. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Please visit us again. And back to the gallery for number three. Looks like you did end up having to watch me do all of these. I keep wanting to cut your, uh, you know, cut out transit time, cut out uninteresting walks through hallways, all that kind of stuff. But you know what? No, that is the full immersive Star Citizen experience. You are going to have to walk your ass around space stations to hand in boxes for fetch quests. There's just no way around it. But you know what? You feel like you're walking around inside of a space station. One that is nearly devoid of NPCs. Besides this guy. Hey pal, I got your box. box of uh, quote-unquote fresh food. I don't know if the quotes go around the fresh or the food, but either way, something about that doesn't seem right. No. Give me my money. Look at our uh, retrieval up. 10,000 Alpha UEC with the North Rock Service Group. Which is great. Where's my North Rock Service Group? Oh, they like me a little bit. I'm a little bit of a tr contractor, a little bit of a tracker. I'm busy. I... Okay, well, I'm not talking to you. Anyway, why would you... Why are you locking me down like that? Anyway, um, so I'll pause the recording. I'm going to relog. I hope that I end up on a different server. You are, you are plugged into the electricity there, Volt. Anyway, uh, and I'll catch y'all when I come back in and we decide what we're going to do next. Welcome back. For you, it was a moment. For me, it was about half an hour. I'm on a new server, seems to be performing a little bit better. And I'm on Hurston. Um, in case you can't tell the uh, polluted dust ball in front of me. Uh, but yeah, so let's uh, keep going with some retrieval op missions. Delivery, racing, research, investigation, bounty hunting, maintenance, salvage, mercenary. Let's get call the arms back. On track. Here you go, retrieval op. All right, let's do, this is the three. Fly them back to her L3. How far is that? Her L3 is over there. Yeah, we can do that. And it gives us a reason to go to three different places. All of a sudden, I'm realizing now that 
I didn't bring the extra railgun ammo, so I'll have to be careful. But yeah, I figured change of scenery. Uh, I, I feel like after last time, this will probably be almost easy mode. So there's... So this one is far away. Alright, so we can go to OM1 is probably closest. But to get there, we're going to have to go to the nearest orbital marker to me. Which is OM3. So it's almost at the North Pole. And the third one's probably close to Lorville. That'd be my guess. Let's look. Alright, so yeah, well, that's close to Lorville. That's one package, and then the other one is also kind of in the middle of nowhere. So really, we just gotta pick. Alright, so let's do this one. Got the power when we're above it. You know the drill. I might have missed it. Yeah, I'm only 200 meters away. That sucks. 300 kilometers, 1,000 kilometers, and... Attack, so... Any way we can get... Yeah, I guess I can do this, and then... Try to cut it again. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you when we get there. Here we are. Coming in about 5 kilometers out. As per usual, right through the cloud layer. Oh, that's the one that's in the, on the other side of the planet. They're just lined up in an awkward way. Are we sunsetting? It just polluted? Yep, yeah, though. So. Alright, let's come in. We'll land close. Make this quick. See if we can't uh, keep ourselves a little protected here. Wow, there's actually more out here than I think I realized. Look, there's this, 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 that. I also don't see a busted up ship anymore. So there's the package. So do you see a landing zone? Let's just land right here next to this one then. Cool. I like when they're big like this. Oh, that is where it's going to land. It's right here. Alright, so we will uh, probably not clear this one that fast. But when it's big like this, maybe that's lots of chances for loot. And server FPS is about 10, so we're in a good spot there. We equip this, please. Okay. I saw going on there. Weapons. Ammo. Utility. Alright. Should be good. Everything is listed as in hack and attached. And the ship continues to pretend it is in quantum travel. Where's the sun? Are we rising or are we setting? Let's look. Setting. That'd be my guess. Fun. Always fun when the sun is setting on you. That's a cool location though. There's a lot out here. No ladder. Hmm. Interesting, right? How do you get up top? Nothing there. Alright, let's cut to the right and then the cross left.
lucky I saw him. I was too busy looking around, having a fun time. He almost got the drop on me. Check around back. Make sure nobody's going to come patrolling around and get me. Alright, should be okay. And lootables. Great. Let's see what we've won. Damaged artifact fragment. Damaged service marker. Alright, anything in the middle here? Nope. When they add wildlife and stuff, like let's say you could be out here. Uh, I think this is like uh, Far Cry 2, right? The Savannah almost in that game. Or, like the wildlife come out and get uh, get involved in your fights with the locals. Okay. Go over here. And I want your medical pen. Alright. Come around to the outside here. So you can see we still got the main compound over there somewhere. Yes, yes, I see a guy up there. Should have brought a sniper rifle. But that was the ship. It's just the generator. Alright, keep an eye, the sun is setting. Make this complex. Nothing in there. I can't have that many bloodline tools, do I? These are all pink flares. I don't really use flares often enough, partly because when you're multiplayer, you have party markers. I don't really know what the flares would be for. Maybe like pop smoke extract here. Here we go. Boom. Or C Mark 10. See, I don't care about that. Venture core is cool. Or Zod armor. But see how they can sometimes contain loot. Rust Society is unique. Um, I don't think I care for the light armor though. I. Um, I'm really hoping for some Citadel stuff, is what I want. Alright, so what are we looking at here? We've got... So where did we just came from? We came from over there. There's the ship. So we've got this little area here. Then we've got the bigger one over there. And then I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. For the side. But we'll climb up top and look again. Did I look all the way over here? I think I did. Okay. Don't convince yourself of crazy things, Quaid. Just get in there, clear the area, make some money, get out with the box. Anything in here? Nothing in the middle. It's all right. Go around the other side, I think. stuff in here or not. Lootables. Lootables. Nothing. I wish some of these boxes were, uh, like, weapons. That'd be cool. 
Alright, climb back up. Check over here, make my way to the main outpost. Get out of here before the sun goes down. I didn't look in this one. Let's go over here. Oh, shit. Probably everyone, he says, completely unassured. Okay, nothing here. Keep moving. There's one. Quicksilver or the, uh, the ice one would probably look really good with this side here. So as long as they don't keep firing. Did anybody get out of there alive? Let's find out. They don't really come down the ramp very well. Yeah, they're probably all dead. Yeah, they don't even... I think they despawn. Look at that little crevice there between those two rocks, that's cool. Alright. Across the hill, double check for baddies. And engage. Pretty sure those three were the only three. Is it? Come on, give me some boxes. One more. One more chance. Yes. Feed the gambling. Feed the addiction. There you go. What do we got? Oracle helmet. Max. Most normal and ordinary loot imaginable. There is a box up there with it. 
we can try to get bring it uh, like over here go like this and not quite This way. Ow. Why did that hurt me? <sighs> I don't understand what just happened right there. But I'll take it. <laughs> well, that clearly didn't go as, as planned. I just want to get up to that box. I don't care if I'm actually on the platform because I can. Always tractor beam the. Uh... rest of it. Alright, I, I can stop and give it a fuck. Alright, let's uh just get this out of here then. Beautiful environments of a few areas of Hurston that are not hopelessly polluted. And we did find two boxes with gear in them, which gives me a lot of hope that maybe, you know, Microtech was where they put the first derelict outpost. Maybe they didn't update the loot pools, loot pools to have um, armor, which is why we never found any. So yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that going forward. Long, slow walk. I'm going to swap out my grav gun for one of the pretty ones, too. Probably the blue and white, since that fits this armor. Uh, take this one out. I'm going to put the ghost on here. Oops. Ghost. Now we will take this and put it on the ghost. There we go. True hold tractor beam. And now, medical pen. Yeah, there you go. All right, that looks appropriate for this uh, this gear. The attachment is still yellow. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Now let's do a little inventory management. Okay, and move on. I mean, I got about 50k worth already. Not bad. Uh, probably by the end of this, I'll close to 60, 65 maybe. Keep doing it maybe until I have 100 would be fun. All right, so that's the one that's close to Loreville. 
And this one's kind of far out. So how do we want to do this? So we'll go up to that orbital marker and then find out what the options are. Let's get some elevation. Come on. <coughs> Another advantage to doing this over on uh, Crusader. Did I mention that before? It's, you're, you're on a low gravity planet. You can take off at 2,000 meters, burn less fuel. Overall, more economical. Come on back. Alright. So, this one is not really close to anything. It looks like that should be 100 kilometers away, but I think it's further. It's about 600 away. It's a thousand... 1800, 1900, 1900. Try this one. <clears throat> yeah, let's go here. Drop again at the closest point. See you when we get there. We're almost there. Coming in on another, probably another dry savanna area. Though they've updated the biome some, so I'm not exactly sure what we'll be uh, engaged in. Ooh. Working balance. Most fun you can have in a ship. Probably from dropping out of quantum all the time. I didn't want to come in at you know, 800 kilometers a second or whatever, but I can come in at 400. This is cool, you're nestled in between these two peaks. I just have to wonder if you've been here before. Aren't there supposed to be rivers on Microtech? Do we know where any of those are? And it's this, this almost looks like Martian, right? It's like really weird. I don't know if I've been in this biome before. Or if I have, it's been as part of a, uh, a bunker mission that I've just never bothered to look around. Alright, so it looks like a smaller settlement this time. Just get in right on it then. Yeah, look at this biome. It's like mud flats or something. I don't know what we're dealing with here. Alright, package number two. This is cool. I've definitely never seen this kind of like. Look at that. Crash ship. Kinda like yellow yellow mess over here. I don't see anyone here. Be a good sign. Nope, oh, there's one. And he's patrolling. There's several. Let's 
these three down pretty quick succession. This gun is a bit overpowered, I think. People talk about it. It's just it's too accurate, too too high damage, too rapid of a rate of fire. They're gonna have to find some way to tone this down. Zynga? What do we got? PAB1, P... It's terrible loot. <laughs> this is all completely normal stuff. Maybe I do have to be on Daymar after all. Someone lurking. Oh god. How was I out of ammo? Storm or ship. Dust storm. Definitely have the world's best collection of multi tools. That's for sure. All right. Ah, here we go. Look at that. Claudio helmet. That's heavy armor. Uh, not looking for heavy armor necessarily. But I'll take it. I mean, I guess I had said before I didn't want that light armor. What I meant was I didn't want that light armor, not any light armor. Just look around here one more time. Before we head off to the next spot. actually bigger than I recalled. There's one. Nice. Nothing else lootable over here. Is there not another another ladder? Oh, here it is. Nothing. Nothing. Good vantage point, though. I think we're clear. So let's go one, two, three, hit it on the way back. Well, we're definitely getting a lot more uh, gear as loot, right? That's That's been nice. In the bathtub? In the bathtub, you sneaky. Claudia helmet. That's something like that is more what I want. Um, no, 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 no. Go there. Let's just set this uh, near the package, I guess. And I'm going to have to run it back, aren't I? All right, let's go unload the, the backpack then, and then we'll continue our, our jaunt. Da, 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 da. Might even swap one of those helmets on. Hmm? How about them apples? I guess technically we're a Hurston, I don't need to wear a helmet at all. So we could try that. Do need to eat and drink. Plus, this way, if the ship comes while we're over here, I can get him with the turret. Get 
<laughs> and the sound kicks in. Oh, game, you are just so janky sometimes. Alright, so we will take off this helmet. We will move all of these. I will drop this bottle and then drink it. Good enough. Doesn't have to be a hundred percent. I see something awesome. Actually, it doesn't work that way. There's a way to, uh, there's a way to cheese this, I think. Go there. Go there. really could probably park closer. Uh, when I wasn't recording and I was doing a little bit of this the other night, I was parking like 400 meters away. It was uh, unnecessary at best. Fully check this. That was just one, one new crate. Is there another hat in here? I forget what it's in. No, I brought them all back. Okay. Again, I can't tell whether I'm hearing a ship. Just the wind. Oh, look at that, that's sneaky. any other bad guys I think we're good da, 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 da. Climb it down maybe I'll do this in medium armor next although I will say that uh, the heavy armor probably saved my life we were uh, getting overwhelmed by the cold ammo I even have access to. Plan. Gotta self destruct this fucker. He's like almost dead, too. How many grenades now?
Where'd they go? Look at the blood splattered. Uh, why? What's self destruct? Backspace. No? We're not gonna. There we go. Self destruct didn't have to be turned on. Let's get out of here. Cool guys don't look back, 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 cool guys don't look back. Oh wait, we should probably just walk, huh? There it is, yeah. That's a rock. I'm walking into a rock. Cool guys don't look forward. Cool guys don't look forward. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna be out here forever. <laughs> And if you're watching it this far, I mean, you're already two hours in. What do you care? The important thing is to find goodies that I might not otherwise get to have. maybe? No, I don't know. Over here, maybe? Why is this injury? A little worried about that. Oh, it'd be just my luck to do something like this and then just get stuck. We can do it. Okay, we can do it. We are we are smart. See? One. Two. Three. Boom. We made it up. There's not even anything up here, is there? God damn it. Oh, no. Here's one. Okay. Right? See? That worked. Anything good? Not, not really. More gems. <laughs> of course. Oh, God. Okay. Did I check that little thing? No, that I went back because of the uh, incoming ship. Let's go in here. Then we'll go over there. The life of a loot hound. Of a, of a gear goblin.
Okay, and we're in. And there's nothing here. Nothing, nothing, a whole lot of nothing. Wonderful. Alright. Get the box. Go to the third location. Turn it in. I'm not going to call it a day, but I'll probably stop recording because you've seen so much by now. We get this one. No, it's not open yet. Grab those because why not? You know, I haven't seen any of those brown boxes. Just a regular multi tool, that's fine. Ooh, orange. Beautiful. Always worry about being out here so long, there's gonna be repops. Although, I think technically that's what the, uh, the incoming ships are supposed to be. Here we go. What do we got? All right. This is good stuff. Star Kitten and Mandible Helmet. That's a modified light armor. Don't care, don't care, and don't care. So that's some rares. Some rare goodies. All mine. All for me. Mwah, uh, 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 uh. And anybody else who goes searching and gets lucky. Alright, and that appears to be everything. Take these back to the ship. Walk by our cool exploded enemies. Shipwrecks do look cool. I wish they didn't move around so much, like that piece of cockpit blown around there but like that looks awesome right the fire inside blown to pieces very cool and it's a very alien looking landscape which is fun and the harbinger continues to be an excellent daily driver has everything really that i'd want but a med bed but any ship with a med bed is going to be pretty large or incapable of doing other things. Probably the Cutlass Red that just showed up is a good option. Decent firepower, decent shields, decent speed, decent maneuverability, and a med bed. Not the worst combo you could imagine. Um, but, I don't know. All right, package number two obtained. I will see y'all at package number three. All right, how's this for cool? There's Lorville. All right, gotta love that. So we're coming in, I think, if you remember back, way back when, Craig and I were out here doing a mission that was just barely outside of Lorville's um, Armistice Zone, and I think that's where we are right now. I think that's where we're headed. <clears throat> it was like out in the strip mine somewhere, which is freaking cool. And if you remember, it was actually very dangerous because there wasn't an easy way to approach. Um, actually, I don't know that that's true. Where we landed didn't give us a clear approach, and so enemies could come at us and see us from other sides. We were also on a server with 30 FPS. I look at the moon up there. Is that aerial? I think that's aerial. Yeah, this is neat, seeing the city in the background like that. We're not coming in that high. I don't know. I thought it was on the other side of where 
the big tower was. Maybe there's more than one? Hard to know. Anyway, let's get below the cloud layer. I think that's going to help us visualize a little better. Almost looks like we're on the water. Right? Isn't that the ocean to our right? That's cool if that's the case. Max power two shields. We got the huge Hurston blast furnaces and stuff over there. Just smelting everything for the UEE. The weapons for the metals. Feels very lore appropriate now. Come in. I don't have to go that slow, but I definitely want to be. <clears throat> Can we see my headlight? Is it even on? Okay, it is. It's just not all that visible. Alright, so I think that is accurate. I think this is that place that's like right on the water. Which is really cool to me. exactly know what we're looking at here. Okay, we're in the garbage patch now, kids. Alright, here we are. There's... Stop falling. Alright, so we've got one... Two, three, four, five, there's maybe six spots here. Do I want to get closer than this though? Yeah, let's let's hazard a closer approach this time. Oh look, there's some up on the hill right here. Um let's check it out. Don't land yet. Let's turn this around. Okay. So that we can see the whole area from the ship. Now, I can't really tell if there's bad guys to my left and right, so I'm going to be careful when I come out of here. Shields are on max. We should be okay. I'm going to leave the railgun behind because it makes me slower and it has no ammo. I don't think. Yeah, no. Um. And I'm going to put my uh, awesome Claudio helmet on. Uh, how about that? All right, move all that out of here. And, um... Not F2. What am I doing? All right, and now I can see my ammo count. All right, we're going to come out. We're going to sprint left. Clear this area first. Anybody out here? I don't think so. Listen to that garbage. Okay, there's the landing landing pad. All right, let's clear the top. I don't see anybody at the moment. Might be in luck. Maybe this was recently cleared. Oh, look at that shadow of the huge metal, hunk of metal out there. Oh, 
Let's do this from up top. Anybody? Doesn't look like it. Alright, going up. So this was not the one I thought that was like on the strip mine. This is the one on the water. Which is also really cool. See, these are some of the best locations and the most enjoyable sort of uh, differences. Yeah, look at that. There's a spot over there. I don't think there's anybody right here, so I think we can uh, proceed. There's two guys down there. You know, I do have a sniper rifle in the ship. No, they loot over here. There's a brown box. And look at that in the distance. You know what that is? That's one of their port facilities. How cool is that? Worn. Damaged. It's okay. No people. This is actually kind of dangerous, like the last one we did in uh, Microtech. I can't really see that well. Alright, what do we got? Nothing I care about. Let's go back. Get on the turret, maybe blow this ship up. Just want it down so it's out of the way. We're not that far from Lorville, but where they are, they can, uh, actually, let's just get in there. Let's see. Let's just fuck them up. Come on. And took some hits. This is still where I want to land, though. I like this. Uh, let's close the ramp, though. Just be able to get the spotlight out here is good. All right, should be safe. Took a little bit of damage. That's okay. Yeah, being a uh, doing this solo, not always the easiest. And that's what makes it fun. And you remember that when we come back. So we were up here. There's stuff right here. And I really can't tell if there's enemies. It's so dark. Turn the damn ship this way, right? We're okay. Let's check around the edges. Fire out here. Doesn't look like anybody's around up here. Great. Okay, some loot up there. Oh. Take it, it's the holiday version. 
I'll go ahead and care about that. That's something we need somewhere else. the uh there it is all right what do we got money garage and more money all right so let's uh think about this i should probably get the ship closer, right? There's no reason now to have to run up this whole damn hill. <laughs> so, let's let's get the ship. Let's move it down there. Clear out these last few pieces of ruins. Call it a day. Why make myself run? I mean, this would be a great spot to snipe from. But there's really only... One, two, three, four, probably four enemies. So we'll see. I don't have any ammo. It's possible that the sniper rifle is out of ammo as well that I have in the uh, gun rack here. But let's do it. Let's have some fun with the snipes, then let's go get closer. All right. Uh, move all, please. Then grab RP six. See if we have any ammo. Eight shots. down. There we go. We got one of that desync. Two. And then three, four, five. More than I remembered. Somebody over here, that's, I think, that's trash. That's not part of the, the derelict. And then there's nobody in this spot, I don't think. Now, I could get closer and hit him from that elevation, but I think this is uh, the more fun shot here. Alright, well, at this rate, I may run out of ammo, but I can at least get the close ones. What? There he's down. That's too bad. Yeah, those guys are so distant. Do I hit for the? Yeah, there's a the thing. All right. Um. Well, we'll see. They're they're out there, right? They're pretty far out there. 300 meters. There are four of them over there now. All right, let's let's do this. Nope. Nope. Center mass. That was a hit. But we're out of ammo. So we'll bring the ship in close now.
Um, I guess I can put the gun back. Probably not. Not the best thing to do. I mean, next time I need it, I won't have the ammo. But uh, I'll try to remember to get more ammo. <clears throat> And here's what I can do. You see that? That was a miss. So let's go up like this. Try it again. Still a miss. Third time's the charm. That looks like a hit. Boom! Did I get anyone? Don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if the missiles actually have any AoE damage at all. Which is wild if you think about it, but probably the case. Alright, so let's come down here next to this blowed up guy. There should be plenty of light to work with. A little off center. We'll survive. I love that those torpedoes did absolutely nothing. But at least we scouted it with the sniper rifle and we know that there's four guys over there, five guys over there, something like that. I put this on the ship since I'm here. Do a quick once over at this side. Put it on the ship and then we'll go check that bar location. Next wipe I'm probably just going to spend a lot of time going to these outposts. No, nobody. See, I don't care about that at all. Not helpful, not useful, not cool. Nothing here. Did I get this one already? What do I need to buy? I need to buy a P6 ammo. I need to buy some, probably a little bit more LMG ammo. I mean, I have plenty left to do to do this for a while, but I uh, want more um, <clears throat> capacity eventually, and um, we need the railgun ammo to be sure. Okay, that's in place. Let's go. Where's that other little location off to the side? There was like a little hole. Is this it over here? I don't know, maybe not. Nope, I'm just losing my mind is all. I even thinking of the other location. Alright, so we'll look through all of these and go get the guys at this other spot. Is that lootable? No, that looks like one of those high-end loot boxes, but it's not. Hi, guys.
Now, I know there were some other ones walking around. I will need to be careful if I approach any closer than this. Unless I got them. They're missile. I didn't see any, uh notification that I had successfully gotten them, but that doesn't. didn't. Just because I didn't get paid all the arms doesn't mean they're not dead. I think there's anything up there. Okay. Yeah, I might have gotten them with the, uh, with the torpedo. Let's close in and investigate. Because I did hit kind of the top back area over here. Could have gotten the patrollers, but not these two guys. Yep, here's a dead guy. Means if we look up top, there's probably another dead guy. Anything in there? No. A lot of this uh, frame rate issues are also related to. All right, hold on. Let's let's go up. Is there a dead guy over here. The loot box way the up up there. I could have sworn there was another guy around. Oh, there he is. Okay. They're all dead. try to get up here maybe I'm not the most motivated person in the universe to do it oh, okay there we go it's more about how do we access that probably just piling up uh, these crates but I don't see that many over here I guess there's two I can find a third one. Let's try it. Why are we here otherwise, right? Is there another one somewhere? I don't know. Maybe two is enough? Hard to say. It's a body. I don't want your body. What is this? Why am I able to move a rock? What was that covering up? What? No way. successful.
And another successful version of this is one in which I uh, bring the ship over and just walk the ramp right here. Hey, there we are. I am a magician. Oh, and it does have rare loot. Well, I am glad. Well, rare-ish. It's a light backpack. It's the Argo one. Don't really care about it, but why not? Where did that go? Might be gone forever. There it is. Well, let's look over here where those uh, rocks were all piled up. Is there something here? Doesn't look like it. What am I supposed to be finding here, team, huh? Just because I can move these. Am I supposed to bludgeon somebody with them? I don't know. Oh well. We'll take our backpack. You know the reason I'm taking this backpack? It's orange. That's really why I'm taking this backpack. Uh, let's come down a little so I can at least see me. Perfect. And from this angle, I can tell that there's not a box on top of this sun, so I don't care about it. <clears throat> it's a couple of rare helmets. Cool orange backpack that I can wear with uh, some kind of orange armor. Just have to buy it, probably. And a chance to do some fun outdoor combat -y things. Even though the weather is garbage right now. Okay. And here's what we'll do. We'll take this, boop, right there. Move all of those. Swap this out for my Morisov armor. And we're looking good. The Academy is a stylish backpack built by Hardened and Tactical to withstand rigorous adventures. Unique rectangle shape features a hard frame fitted around a durable, expandable soft shell with two zippered pockets, allowing easy access to essentials. It also comes with the commemorative patch to celebrate Argo Cargo's bested show victory. Cool. Let's go turn these in. See you at the space station. Come on. That looks cool. That looks really cool. The, the city in the background like that, amazing. Alright, now, now I'll fly to the dumb space station. <laughs> and here we are. Coming in for a landing. And I'll run all these boxes in. I'll also just see what's going on here at Rail 3. This is not a the range point I'm all that familiar with. Maybe there's some cool stuff to buy here. Whoa, 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 careful, careful, Wade. It's a little bit of a small, small entry here. Let's uh, see if we can't get the autopilot to do it. A little too low, maybe? Come on, autopilot. Kick in. Alright, fine. Fuck it. We're here. Plant. That was not one of my better moments. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay.
<laughs> We're smack dab. Well, okay. I'm good. Maybe move forward a little bit. Let's try this. Da 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 Um Alright, whatever. I don't care then. What I can do also is pull the ship off the pad, put it on the pad, all that good stuff. But let's get all my gear off. So I can work a little faster just using Actually, isn't one of these a light helmet? Boom. Light armor. A bit of an inventory delay. All set. Good to go. Alright. This is one of those newer LaGrange stations, too, that might be kind of hard to... I to remember where to put everything. And have these longer, uh, harder to reach pathways you have to walk through. But at least I got my mandibles. Yeah, see, the metals are so slow. Get in, get in, get in. Alright, where, what hangar are we in? So we are in hangar one. Great. Everyone's perfect. That's nice. These are right next to the uh, thingy bathroom. That's always good to have. We're going to the Galleria. There is only a Galleria. Perfect. Perfect. And the administration is, I'm guessing, downstairs. Probably behind the stairs. No. It's upstairs or around the corner. I should probably have used the, you know, marker to find my way around. That'd be that'd be smart. All right, that's kind of in the wrong spot, but I'm going to assume this is where they want it. That the marker is just placed wrong. Yeah, there, see, it popped up here. Interesting. This may not be completable, unless there's another one of these immediately downstairs. Which, again, I don't really care about the 10,000 credits. It's not, not meaningful to me. Yeah, okay, it's it's just it's just done busted. Fine. We'll just leave this right here. What do we got? We got a platinum bay. Don't care. Do we have a food court. Do we have guns, ammunition. It's back here. This is nothing. Whole lot of nothing down here. Okay. I think there's a no questions asked terminal back there. Or is that the L4 stations? Alright, elevators. Busted ass admin platform. You know what I'll do then? Since I'm here. Let's go and sell all those gems. Let's make our make our money. Alright, 40k of effort. Let's 
that's pretty good. 42, we'll call it 42, we'll round up. 42 evaporate. An extra 90k. Can't sell those ag supplies because there was a for the mission. Great. Well, can't turn in the mission. At least I can hand in all of the wonderful loot that I looted. Alright, we got a, uh, a ship weapons store. Nice. What is this? Sucker punch can. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Burrito bar. So no, no player weapons, no player armor, no platinum bay. Let's make sure there's nothing else that I just kind of missed out here. I don't even think they have anything unique here. There's no reason to be out here. Nothing here. Nothing to do. Just double check. Windows. Windows. Alright, then we'll just kind of make our way around the corners here. Check all these areas. Nothing I'm missing, right? Nothing here. Nothing here. Locker room. This is not the no questions asked terminal, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's the L4 stations that have that. Okay. This is this is a really awful station. Like nothing going on here. Which is too bad. I guess the economic activity of the station is just not enough to justify anything else. So we've got two of the drop-offs are next yeah, look at that. Two of the drop-offs are next to each other and one is just in the wrong. The two that are overlapping are also the wrong, the one that's broken. So I can only turn in one of the three. Too bad. So sad. I missed out on my 10k. But we made 90 from gems from today and yesterday. Not a lucrative business by any means. Still pretty fun. Welcome to the ASOC and it's great to get system. the really cool, unique armors and weapons. So yeah, we'll call it a day here out in her L3. What if this is a good mining location? I don't really know. Uh, there's no refinery here, so you definitely wouldn't want to base out of here. That might mean it's less traffic. Who knows? Uh, I will see you all. Uh, eventually, uh, you know, there's some travels going on the next few weeks. I don't know when I'll have time to record again. Um, I'm going to miss some of the PL Hangouts, that kind of thing. Uh, but if I do manage to get some recordings, I will, of course, upload them. Until next time.